everyone at Kingwin Pro League 2015 we are Welcome. on the last day of the pre playoffs so and this is the last match of the day so basically what we're looking at right now uh, or what we're about to start looking at is the last match before the quarterfinals semifinals and finals which will take place on May 8th so this is a match between dog and orange now orange earlier today disputed a match against Colento and was really close to winning but got reverse sweeped yeah quite unfortunate for him Unfortunately, this match doesn't really count for anything, but I bet the players will still have some fun. I do want to point out, though, um, should we call the police? Because maybe Dog murdered someone. Yeah, you, when but... the webcam shows up, <laughs> when the webcam oh. does show up, you, you will understand. I, yeah. I think everybody knows. what he, Is he a med student? Uh, uh, I'm not really sure right now. A, lo a lot of players who play Hearthstone for some reason are med students. It's been uh, an impressive trend. He's like at least, uh, he's not a med student, but he could be a pre-med student. Yeah, that's possible. So we have the lineups for both players. Dog will be playing Mage, Priest, Rogue, and Orange will be bringing Druid, Warlock, and Warrior, which I think is the same lineup we saw against Kalento yeah. earlier. I I'm actually really hoping that both players brought really fun decks. For yeah. example, um, in the NVIDIA tournament when Sixo and RDU played each other, they mm -hmm. pretty much brought like Pirate, Mage, and stuff like that. Right, because what, what have you got to lose? If you're not going to get, you know, both of these players are effectively not getting reinvited for Season 2. Um, and they're also not going to get to the top 5. No matter, like, no matter what they do here, they're both going to be in the bottom 5 and drop out of the league. So hopefully, we get to witness some really fun decks from both of them. Double thumb. Yeah, we should have probably given them the order, <laughs> but we'll see exactly. I know Dog does have some funky decks that he plays. Hobgoblin Druid being one of them. That's uh, That's a pretty fun one. Hobgoblin Druid. Yeah, you just go... Uh, yeah, that's a thing. It is a thing, and it's actually not... That, it's like, if you were to play to Token Druid nowadays, you would probably play Hobgoblin Druid instead. That's uh, how yeah, I look at it. one with the Nourish, I guess, just for a draw instead. It's the one it's... that has Hobgoblin and a lot of one-attack minions. <laughs> so Vampire of the how, Wild yes. and Savage Roar. That's how I would describe it. Yeah, I, I think that some of them even ran um, Dark Whispers with Echoing Ooze. And they tried like the Dark oh. Whispers for Knife Juggler plays sometimes, or Echoing Ooze, just for the fun of it. It's been. I've fun. seen I've seen Dog running Mech. Uh, yeah. Version of the trade. I wonder if that's something. Yeah, but I don't think it's a cool. fun deck. I oh. think it's more of like a, a tweak a tweak on competitive deck. Uh, the Mech one. It's kind of like if you make Dragon Druid, right? You're making Ramp, but just with Dragon theme. All right, so I wonder which of these two lineups is better against one another, though. Uh, against the other. There's a priest and dogs lineup. Versus Druid, Warlock, and Warrior. Yeah. Priest and so, dogs lineup. Could... Depend, yeah, depends on what mage the dog is playing. It freeze. Because it's playing a lot of it. In which case, Orange just will dominate through Rogue, Mage, and possibly it depends on what dog. Yeah, Orange's Warrior could just Runs. take this entire thing. Like, yeah. if it comes down to one last deck for Orange. If he wins with Druid Warlock and is down to Warrior, then Dog has to go through that. I don't think that's going to be very, very easy for him. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think the winner of this match will be the player who brings the most fun decks. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Like, I want to see Hobgoblin Druid, Hobgoblin Warlock, and Hobgoblin Warrior from Orange. And <laughs> from the Mage, I guess Flame Waker Mage. Or Echo Medivh. Sure. Echo Medivh one is fun. Yeah. I would like to see random battle decks, to be honest. Which is like autocomplete? Yeah. Uh, we should ask the players. Oh man, it's too late. <laughs> I think they're already going in the it's game. too late. Yeah, Dog selected Rogue and Orange selected Druid already. <laughs> yeah, I, to be honest, I think both players, they uh, had to pre-submit decks before the play day began. Oh, uh, they might have had to, yeah. Makes so a lot of sense. Some of them, like, there might be a possibility that this match actually counted so most likely more likely than not we're probably going to see some serious decks here yeah i don't especially doubt it for, especially for orange and i think there's something at stake either way no matter what game you're winning i think there's still uh, i think you're getting uh, there's some money involved for every match that you win either way so even though they're oh, not yeah. getting the top five they still have an incentive to do their best and you know give us the the best games possible on competitive level all right a oh, rogue versus druid i'd say that's uh that's anyone's game. Especially with the amount of rogues that we've seen. Like The standard spell-oriented all rogue is phased out, and now you see a lot more minion-heavy decks. Exactly. So I would say Druid is his play favorite, but mm -hmm. that's that's because a lot of Druid run. Um, Harrison and Jones. Harrison Jones. 
Yep. And Without if, uh, those, with just a little drip and rook, might be actually slightly favored. Yeah. And even like, if you want to tech really hard against rook, you can even tech in special knight. <laughs> oh man, who was it that was playing that against Kalento and just got punished with a shrink meister cabal? I forget who that <laughs> oh was, God. but that was absolutely atrocious to look could at. Could that could that have been Keldy? Oh, that's possible. I forget which match was played like a week or two weeks ago. That was just crazy. I think I casted that with you, Noxious. Yeah, I, I remember you and I were here, and we were thinking, you know, Kalento's got like the deck was stacked. Yes, I think that was Keldy. He stacked the deck against Kalento's priest. Um, with four attack minions, he had Yetis, he had Spectral Knights. Like, he was fully stacked on four attack minions, and then Kalento, I think, won the game either way. Wow. Uh, I remember that. That was really he insane, though. Yeah. Shrink my screen, Cabal. Yeah, it's a really strong play against, uh, yep. well, you know, anything, <laughs> really. <laughs> it plays around the Shadow Menace, I guess, but then, uh, that, that will hurt so much. It's four or six just going away. Well, then you can't target, and druids do not deal with spe like with special knight at all. Like they just don't. No, they have, they have no to way attack to... into it too. It's, yeah. it's it's the same thing. They would have a yeah. They, they'll have the exact same problem. They're that trying priests to do. Yeah, they they're putting in the problem to the priest. The priest says, "Well, now it's your problem." <laughs> Feels like I see a lot of that coming for priests. You know, between mind control, shadow maps, uh -huh. and everything, every problem you pose to them, they just send back to your face tenfold. Even handlocks, you can toss still, you know, like the, <laughs> everything. <the wolf. laughs> Twilight and uh, the mine, uh, mountain giants. Yeah. Oh, Sylvana Shadow Flame, thank you. Oh man. <laughs> I must have <laughs> done it twice. Both of that. Yeah. <clears throat> I think thought seals for priests are like in control matchups are just so important. It's uh, so good. It's amazing versus Paladin. That's one of the reasons also the, the deck priests are really favorite against Paladin because yeah. of Dotto. You'll generally hit something relevant. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting to the first game here. Dog will be the rogue player, and Orange will be the druid. Ooh. Yeah. The rogue starting with me. Well, we're getting into the game right now, right. and the rogue. <laughs> this is really interesting. He's gonna have an RMP gal in his hand. The dog bring something like aggro rogue. I don't know the sprint. The sprint fit aggro rogue. Yeah, I don't think it's aggro rogue. Well, we have a chair playing dog's place at the moment, um, so maybe he should rename himself the chair. DX or racer? Is that acer or racer? Racer. It's a, it's a racer. Yeah. You can sit on it and race it. I don't know what you're talking about. So I used to call it DX or acer. <laughs> Did dog actually play? Oh. He's just back. Okay. He might have just clicked it off that other site. I think it's his doppelganger. Mm. I don't think that's dog. <laughs> Wait, does that mean dog actually died? Is is he one sitting behind? Did his he dog die? Oh man. That's sad. Alright, so let's put some pressure on the board here. Let's go with SI agent. And get Rathed? Oh. Yeah, that's great. I think Blood Mage is a lot more pressure. Okay, that makes sense. Especially because like you, your opponent, they generally want to uh, play a Shade on turn 3, but now uh -huh. they're really vulnerable to a fan of Knives, right? Yeah, they have oh, to yeah. hero power it down, so you're slowing down their tempo by force. Which is really, really important in this matchup. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Orange's hand is looking insane, though. Like, the, the, the amount of, like, the draw that he's got, plus the Sylvanas and the Lothab together, against a rogue... Whoa, this guy's got a lot of guts. Lazy. Well, he's going to be rewarded. Painting to prep knives. I think you just find a prep fan of knives here off the sprint, and you're good to go, right? Yeah. Either way, you're still okay, because you could deadly blade flurry if you find one. That's also viable oh. on the following turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't get it. Not even close, actually. Oh, he's got a pretty good minion. Like a minion heavy hand, I think it's fine. It's weak to Black Knight, though, if he oh, goes man. for the Belcher. Would you ignore him again? <laughs> play Lothab and ignore it? Sounds good to me. Now he's forcing his opponent to play Belcher, which he can Black Knight, maybe, uh, if it stays up for a turn. Mm -hmm. I thought it will, but you never know. Oh, there's... no. Oh. I wonder what he's using Owl for. Maybe he's... Maybe taking out one of the Saps for it? Or maybe he has it both? 
What deck rose in popularity that could force the owl? Freeze Mage, perhaps? Freeze Mage, yeah, I was gonna say Freeze Mage probably for the Doomsayers, but I think Rogue already had a decent matchup against it. Um, there's, well, obviously Sylvanas, it's always been there. Paladin has gained popularity, not really. Mid range Warlock Void Callers, perhaps? That's always a potential thing. Wow, the hand from Dog though, it's like it contains a huge amount of options. Mm -hmm. All of them are pretty good, actually. Yeah, all of them are really nice. The lines of play that he's got opened up to him right now is just insane. That early sprint really pays off. Yeah, he can even like silence either the Shredder or the or the Shade. I really like that Phantom Knives. If he pops a Shredder, he's likely to be able to do anything he wants with with this board. He'll have his way with the board. I'm sure that sounded naughtier than you meant it, but... <laughs> well, Do you think, I think the dog I... possibly misspoke slightly? Because he could have just got... Like, what if what if Orange got a taunt of it? Yeah. Well, I think maybe I would have considered silencing the Pilot Shredder, perhaps? I don't the know. Dog's gonna give back the initiative to his opponent. Mm -hmm. But he found the blade story he was looking for, at least. And the prep sprint. Wow, okay, he's got options for days now. He's know, a little light on stronger. spells, though. Oh! Oh, but the Emperor Ooh. Thorazane comes out on turn 6. What a perfect play. What a... What what great Druid play from Orange. Yeah, I think Orange played this perfectly. He, ch to, he drew into Paul the on, on 4 as well. Except he didn't play it. He's just playing perfectly. Yeah, I have no complaints about the way he is playing currently. <laughs> and here comes the Doctor Seven. He's gonna he's gonna play that perfectly too, right? Well, he's gonna play oh, perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he might just opt for a uh, Ancient of yeah, Lore yeah. plus Wrath. You know, the the one on the left. Mm -hmm. It's because it's six mana instead. Oh yeah. And you keep swipe for the Violet Teacher later on. Man, Orange is playing this perfectly. Indeed. <laughs> the time he's taking, it's it's perfect. His Thinking death stare, through. it's also perfect. <laughs> Yo, I would never challenge him to a duel in real life if he looked at me that way. Not not a single time. They're both. Oh, I was gonna make a comment about their posters. The exact same posture is just the opposite. Except the dog just raised his head. Alright, so what do you do about a 5-5? Well, I that's guess you just- Yeah, that's a really it's sick a dog. Dog is playing this perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> dog is doing an amazing job of this game. Do you just SI? Do you, do you try to no, prep the- Okay, no, you don't want to play SI here? No, I don't think so. I would have given it a shot. I guess you're vulnerable to double swipe. And you, you might get a better prep later. You will get a better prep later. Yeah, you have a screen. Perfect. You just have to play it. Perfectly. Sylvanas and swipe is an option. Drew the claw face, swipe face, top deck savage war. <laughs> oh my god. You're laughing now. <laughs> Actually, I like I like the Drew the claw with Sylvanas. Or the swipe. Like, you pick your choice, but both of them are just amazing. This is even better. They didn't even force the innervate play. But uh, Dog is at running two Sludge Belchers, though, so... Wow. Yeah, that's Dog a little uncommon. Well, yeah, that, that, he's just picking his deck perfectly. Mm -hmm. SS7 Agent. What about Violet Teacher Prep Shiv? I really like that. Oh. That's pretty good as well. I thought that you might want to dagger up in case you joined an oil, but then I don't know if he has an oil to start with, not to mention he doesn't have it in his hand. Yeah, we didn't see any yet, and a lot of decks have been... I wouldn't, Oh, wait. I'm not going to say a lot of decks, but some decks have been cutting um, the double oil. A lot of decks run one. Yeah. I'd say about half of them run one. Cutting it, cutting it entirely is very rare or unusual, mm -hmm. but running only the one is not. But since it's running ships instead of... I don't know, actually. Yeah, he's been running ships. So Shredder, Innervate, Shade... Oh man, you're so vulnerable to whatever you play though. I don't think... Do you yeah. play the Shade here ever? I mean, what if he's got another AoE? You're pretty screwed. 
can you play around it? I think you may have to. Shredder alone, I think, is okay. Like, I'm Shredder okay with alone Shredder is alone. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It's the second play that I'm not sure about with the shade. Especially using Innervate when you have the in the hand. Mm hmm. Oh, he's oh, gonna well. go for it. Yeah, he's gonna go all in. He's he all had... in. Yep. He played this perfectly. He had a tendency of not playing. We don't. We don't time. know if he played this perfectly yet. Well, uh, we'll know precious. depending on how perfectly Dog we'll plays. Know. I think Dog is gonna play this perfectly too. He's got the Eviscerate that goes well with the SI seven and everything. It's just it's, it's beautiful. Kind of knives into the Eviscerate sounds good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh my god. I mean, up until now, I'd have to say... So he's thinking whether or not he wants to... use the... the dagger to kill off the Shredder right now, or wait until it pops. I think the play here is you uh, Blade Flurry. Yeah. And you heal up your... You trade your Vile Teacher into... To, and heal it up, yeah. Yeah, into the Black Knight and possibly heal it up. Why would you want to play free here? Just to kill off the Shades? Yeah. That you can do yeah. it anytime if you draw into... Yeah, but yeah, the Shades might attack, attack on the next turn, and, and it also might get value out of, like... It's gonna attack into three. one, two, I think it's that's fine. Okay, okay, yeah, maybe maybe it's not worth it. Dog agrees with you, so I think you both play this perfectly. Aha! There's no South Sea deckhand, don't get overjoyed. There's no Archmage at Sinaius either. Aha! To battle! To battle. To the claw. Oh man. So. Orange has really, has really, really diminished. I think he's gonna have to play Sylvanas just for a chance at reestablishing board control mm -hmm. and asserting his dominance, but. I mean, with all the one ones, how likely is that to pay off? Four, the, so the where are the saps? Isn't... Where are the saps? Oh wow, that's a that's a top deck. Yeah, that's a good question because there's just so many extra cards in this rogue deck that yeah. you have to think that some things have to be cut. I'm thinking like, one sap perhaps, maybe. There's an owl. Yeah. There's uh, two sludge belchers at least. Is there are there any other interesting cards? Two shivs. And yeah. two fan of knives, I think. You yeah, know, I definitely think this is more of a cycle heavy deck for Rogue. And. And both. What does Sylvanas get here? Uh oh. Owl. Oh, yeah, that's right. It gets the owl. Owl, that's... and then run into 1 1 and then force Never mind your face. So that's. Her, her. He's yeah. a safe again. He's safe against double KO as well. Yeah, I... so I would say that Dog played this not too imperfectly. So you play Rag, you hit face, <laughs> then you, you force the nature savage, savage roar, roar, and you exactly. win. That is all. Oh actually, that's God. that's actually that all he can do. Die. That is actually all he can do. Does he live through this board? Let's just look. Nine. No, there's 14 damage, so he actually lives through this board. Yeah, I think that's his play. Right, he does it. Oh God, if it hits face and top yeah, so, deck savage roar. Yeah, so two damage off lethal. Oh well, now one damage off lethal here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the overkill on the slime. Well, the oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> you sprint first, obviously. I've got the I've got the rag in my sight. Yeah, you sprint for lethal here. Yeah. Then BGH. And if you can't run fast enough, I think you BGH anyway for good measure. Oh no no, you have to BGH. Yeah well, yeah. You don't have to, but like. I think you have to. Well, you miss the damage if you don't. Yeah. Oh, oh gang up! What? This was gang and up, bro. No, it wasn't. It was a rogue that had gang up. <laughs> Just true. one thing up. So, it's, so like, I, cut the saps, put gang up in Iron Beak? And big game hunter and sludge belchers. I guess he that might makes sense. have one sap. It makes sense. So that's why he has a shift to cycle through the gang ups faster if he puts, mm -hmm. like, three BGHs. Well, he we'll never know. I'll have to ask him the list, because this is pretty cool. All right, I'm a little confused, but great success. Yep. All right, so Dog's got Priest and Mage on the back of this, and Orange has his full lineup. So the Rogue for Dog that we said could be a bit of a weird matchup 
uh, against Warrior is going to lock the win. And now if he wins with Priest, he's going to be immune to the Warrior. Depends on what Mage is playing, really. Mage well, the thing is, Mage doesn't mage have to, to win tempo. against anything. But, like, Mage has to win against Druid or Warlock. So if he wins with Priest, um, Orange has a full lineup, and then Dog just has to beat Druid and Warlock with Mage, which I think is a bit, you know, easier than beating Warrior. Since he plays so much Freeze Mage, we have to assume that's what he brought. Yeah. He right. has been bringing Mech Mage, to, though, to certain tournaments. Really? Um, I, I have to say, it's probably more likely this is Freeze Mage, Freeze mage though. Because he knows Orange, because he's on Team Archon, has a tendency to play a lot of Zoo. And Freeze Mage has a much better matchup than Mech Mage against Zoo. Against Zoo, yeah. I think Zoo, in fact, has is favored uh, against Mech Mage. I'd venture to say. Nowadays, with the, just the Imp Gang boss alone turns that matchup upside down. Alright, so Orange is a Warlock versus Dog's Mage. So we'll have to see if this is, in fact, Freeze Mage versus Zoo. And if it is, then Dog will be down to Priest. And... We'll see whether or not that turns out to be a weak spot. I, I'm still hoping for Shadow Bombers, but... I, I still... I've been disappointed. Multiple times. <laughs> I, I'm jaded at this point, you know? Like, it's... I, I just gave up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, All Explosive right. Sheep, yeah. That's a pretty somewhat common card in uh, Freeze Mage against... Ag if you, especially if you think your opponent's gonna run aggro, but... Yeah, Orange is running a uh, handlock. Yeah, it's not Zoo. Have you ever encountered on ladder while climbing the weird Zoo deck that contains Ancient Watchers and Molten Giants? Have you ever <laughs> run into that? I I'm talking like a really like somehow this guy is running Zoo, but he plays no, the Watcher, so you're adapting to handlock, and then he comes I out. I would I would say no. You, you've no never had that? Dude, it happened to me so many times. Like, the guy tries to come up with some really original, like, hybrid deck, and it just doesn't make sense. Well, you know what's funny here is that both players, they mulligan for the aggro matchup. Yeah. Like, Dog, as the Freeze Mage player, he mulligan for Zoo, and Orange, as the Handlock player, he mulligan for Mech Mage. <laughs> I think this gives the Handlock the advantage, though, because he draws a bit faster in general. Well, I actually think this gives no, I would say Freeze Mage the advantage. Exactly, because Freeze Mage, it has, like, way more card draws. It has, uh, like, basically the the cards that you want in the early game as Free Ma Freeze Mage against Zoo are similar to the cards that you want, want against, as okay, Handlock. Okay. Like, you have Arcane <gasps> Intellect, you have Whoa! Bad Scientist. It is not just Mage, by the way. It is not Freeze Mage. You lied. Not You, you, you absolutely lied. Wow. Or, or Fatigue Mage, however uh, you So far, I'm going to say Dog wins the Fun Deck Award, but... I'm not yet decided on the matter. Neither. <laughs> Doomsayer. That's an interesting pick. So it's the, uh, you remember the Giants Mage? Like, Hyped used to run something like this, right? Early GVG? Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I just mistaken? The... Mountain Giant with Iron Beak? And, oh, yep. Yeah, the Moltens could come out very soon. This could get dangerous. Man, it, it, it'll, it feels really odd. Do you really want to get the Doomsayer off Duplicate? If it is? I think I'd be happy with it. Like 10 locks? Uh, maybe. I mean, otherwise I play Belcher and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. oh, if he has a Duplicate, yeah, I'll play Belcher probably too. I have to say, this matchup, because it's this kind of mage, I don't even know how to describe it, first of all. But because it's this kind of mage, I think the handlock is extremely favored. Simply because uh, there's just so... It's so much easier for handlock to... Um, Beat the board. Uh, well, also that, and also to um, to basically activate their Bolton Giants. Also, they have board clears like Shadow Flame, whereas the mage player, it doesn't have anything like that. You don't play enough arena. <laughs> Actually, double iron beak owl. All right. I'm double owl already. That was quick. But the duplicate. And so dog, dog will be able to do a lot of work with that explosive sheep, that frost bolt, a lot of what, man. That double Sylvanas is going to be so important for him here. Mm -hmm. This is just such a strong position for dog at this point. Uh, well, you think also, he um, take, by the way. Uh, Taunting an owl instead of. Oh, oh I like that. Giant. 
I like that. Just protects his giant more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you can always like ping the owl, right? That's not a big threat. And this might be the turning point of the game, even though this Twilight Drake can't be dealt with because both sciences have been used. There's also no way for Dog to deal with this Emperor Thorzen. No, there isn't. Well, there is Sylvanas to steal the effect. There's but... a Sylvanas, but not not this turn. Man, Orange's lines of play are a billion right now. He's got so many plays he can make. And that's the really weird thing about Headlock is there's only ever one good play from what I've like I've really noticed is it feels like you have many plays but only one of them is really the good one. Whereas when you play Freeze Mage, since you're playing your deck um, instead of what you have in hand, a lot of the time you end up making decisions that have... Like, you can be a little bit more liberal or have a, like a Freeze Mage play star, whereas Headlock seems to me like you only have one correct decision in every tree. Let's see what this does. That's that's a bit risky. I'd let the that's, mage deal with really this. That's really risky. Yeah. 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 Also, Especially since you... you have another Sylvanas behind. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, not you, but the dog. Yes. Oh, man. Look at that. Mana reduction. This is beautiful. Oh, my God. If you're on, you know, Orange's side of things, of course. Yeah. But. How do you so, is there something to be said about Explosive Sheep Ping? Then kill the Ancient Watcher with your Drake, then trade away your Sylvanas into... Depending on the Boombot hits, things could yeah, change. It really but... depends on Boombot hits. Boombots yeah. might as well kill Sylvanas. <laughs> they might kill her and yeah. then give... Yeah. I think Explosive Sheep still has to be the play that he makes. Oddly enough. Like, there's really nothing else that... Unless he's playing Freezes, in which case maybe Arcane Int could almost... Well, not guarantee it, because Blizzard wouldn't work. You'd need to find Kona Cold or Frost Nova. You also have to think that he probably plays um, an Ice Block in this deck as well. Mm -hmm. So it might be important, at least in the next few turns, that he draws into that Ice Block. Man, the, the place here is really awkward. Because it's all are... really dependent on Boombot hits. Yeah, the Boombots are going really to determine go how this goes. Gamble? He's gonna kill one Boombot. Not. Oh. It's a huge decision he's making. He's just gonna go for the stable play that doesn't try to... He's gonna try to get as much value as he can out of Sylvanas, but this Emperor Thorsten has had three turns oh to reduce the mana cost of things. Like, Orange could literally vomit five drops. <laughs> I like the word to uh, vomit. <laughs> well, I mean, when, <laughs> when you have that many of them, how do you call that? I have no... I don't have a good word. And it's not it's not over yet either. Yeah, it's, it's not even close more. to that. The Twilight well, Throw is going to be one drop next turn. You said that Orange had a billion options the previous turn. How many options does he have now then? About a trillion. Next it's exponential. Turn is Every time Emperor Excellent. reduces the cost, it just goes up. A two mana Drake, that sounds fair. Yep. An Argus still costs four mana. I think at this point, like, there's too many options, and Orange is like, whatever. Let's just see where Sylvanas takes me after this. So you live tab for the Emperor value, right? Or are you afraid of taking face damage? Oh, man. Yeah, are you guess... that afraid of taking face damage here? Well, I, I mean, Fireball of, things like... would kill you, yeah. Exactly. Fireball things. <laughs> fireball I'll be too afraid if, Hashtag if he knows fireball what things. deck he's going against, but... Yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> so how good is Explosive Sheep? Kriparian, I got a video for you. Uh, Explosive Sheep seems... I mean, it doesn't even seem that great, sadly. I'm a little disappointed. He yeah, did find the ice block, though, damage. but... I mean, if he had the flame strike. What if he has a second sheep? <laughs> right? What if he top decks another sheep? Right? Wouldn't that change everything? That would change everything, you're right. Because he gets a guaranteed Twilight Drake then. Yeah. So play the, and hope that he draws into a second one? Two, four, seven. That's what if exactly you play the that sheep, that you attack the Boombot with Sylvanas, the, the Boombot hits the sheep, which lets you ping something, <laughs> in which case then Dr. Boom is dead. Well, that's quite <laughs> optimistic. Don't you yeah. try. Don't, don't you get me down, man. I'm just... I'm trying to be useful here. Did he really? Is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh. No. Oh. 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 oh no. I was Justice. betrayed. Well, I mean, he deserves that, honestly. <laughs> like he, he, the boom boss, just you know, at some point you've got to be tired of getting summoned by that giggling goblin guy. The molten giant costs ten. It's confusing me. <laughs> Usually, I look at the cost of the molten giant to know how much the player has health left. It's not. Uh, so it's not accurate now. So, I, I said Lurag is pretty good here, well, but no, he's not going to. Wow, zero mana BGH. Oh no, he should have arcane. Oh, no, it's oh, like the bastard. Have... <laughs> oh no. Oh wait, I just realized. No, that's is that true? Because what of the uh, explosive ship, second one will be played later than Sylvanas. So you still and then it activates. Unless... Do you play yeah. Ice Block after the Narcan? Oh, wow. Okay. Talk about oh. sheep. Whoa. Oof. Too many sheeps here. Too many of them. Many sheeps. Handle it. Man, you're reading so much. I'm actually pretty impressed at how Dog is able to deal with um, pretty much all of the Handlock's threats without having to use any sheeps until now. That's only because the Handlock was the one who was attacking Dog's minion. I think. So, if Dog... Actually, there's lethal here, right? Like, with that Hellfire 2 and Ragnaros. Yeah. Yep. There has to be. Nine... Nine nine. He has to shadow flame though. Yeah, I think he has to shadow flame the Drake, then play Rag, and then he hits, right? Yeah. yeah. He's popping the block. And or then if he hellfire. did that, well, he can Hellfire and also clear. Yeah. That might be better. There's goodbye block. But now Dog gets two Moltens and a heal bot. Mm -hmm. And the Polymorph. That's a pretty big turn to be honest. But the Shadow Flame still lives. Exactly. Wait. Whoa. Explosive no, shooting molten that. molten that's... heal bot. Actually, yeah, that's a that's a full turn. Yeah. You could do that, but then you're gonna be well, Ragnaros has a chance. Yeah, I think it's still going to be close to GG, but not quite. Yeah, Dog has a chance to take this with his play. It's not killing Rag, but it's also putting him out of range of Ragnaros alone. And he, there's no way that Orange wins unless he wins the Rag hit to the face. Attack with Slime, then Hellfire. Well, actually, I think, I think he's got it most of the time. 50-50. Do you want to do that? It's a 50 uh, It's two thirds. No, it's a 50 Oh, we the BGH, right? it's a I think you're good. Oh my Orange. gosh. Full face, BGH, Hellfire, then. Actually, wait, does Ancient Watcher, just... Shadow Flame, Hellfire yeah, Coil do it? Flame. Yeah, never mind that. Hellfire Coil does solve the problem. Yep. Quite nicely, in fact. I thought it was going to do with Wiki Hunter, but. I think Orange played this perfectly. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh, they'll never right. get old. All right, so it's one to one. Orange is gonna be taking the game with his handlock. I think Orange, like uh, Dog, was expecting Zoo, and not so much the handlock that Orange brought. Right. So I don't that know was kind of crazy. Way. It's been such a long day. I have yeah. To... Yeah. It's, it's been six <laughs> matches of like three hours each because people went, you know, control priest, control pally. Control Warrior, Midrange Druid, Life Coach, like they went like. I, I love how you give all these examples and Life Coach. It's true though, like <laughs> the, there's a greater truth to it. Um, and there's a Life Coach, yes. Yeah. All right, so next match is gonna be Mage from Dog versus Orange's Warrior. I think Dog's deck oh, has a oh. pretty decent chance, but we'll have to see. I just won. It actually is a very favorite, I think. Yeah. No matter how you Duplicate is just crazy uh -huh. against Warrior. On yeah. either, and you can you can pretty much use it on however you want it because warriors don't usually have early board control. So yeah, this deck is like really reminiscent of Hype's deck yeah. that he brought all the way back when Duplicate was released, and 
that deck was actually meant to counter warriors and to counter priests. And it did really well at that. Like, you exactly. couldn't win against a Belcher that got duplicated. Mm -hmm. It was almost impossible back then. Or summon it, it. Yeah. And actually, Dog is even running Twilight Drake. So it's effectively the same thing mm -hmm. with a few cards difference. Like, there's pretty much everything in there. Explosive She being a slight nuance. Mm -hmm. but... Less here is. Nah. Nah. It's a control warrior. Come on, man. You got nothing <laughs> to lose. What are you bringing control warrior for? Show me the grim patrons. Yeah, the green patron actually have, should have much better win rate against this. Yeah, then control war for sure. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what other secrets the dog is running. Just two duplicate and ice block. That's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's what the deck used should to be. run at least. At the like, that's all it did. An owl might change things here and there. He knows what kind of uh, mage that. Mage deck that's running, so yeah, he knows everything about it almost. Mm -hmm. I think he's seen just about every bit, so he knows it's a quote unquote value mage with duplicates and vouchers. Hmm, if this is duplicate already established, this sludge belcher is gonna be crazy. We can get a hover over the secret. Yeah, admins are going to tell us what the secret is. Yeah, via the power of spectator mode. Oh man, what is that you're talking about? This is a thing where cards are flipped upside down. <laughs> yeah, we must like not be using that. Eight. Yeah, it is duplicate. All right, All right cool. It is duplicate. That's good to know. <clears throat> now, my question is, do you just duplicate Emperor Thorson because you can? Oh my god. Is that just nicer? <laughs> so you no, can I reduce the cost of your second. Nicer. All right. So in this right. matchup, you want to play for value overall. I think the Belcher might be actually Emperor Tarasin. I think Emperor would be amazing, but yeah, it would be amazing actually. You're right. I'm pretty biased. Now you could just ignore this after using an owl on it, but he's not going to. He's just gonna kill it. No, Orange's deck is full of bling. Everything is golden. <laughs> You're right. Wait, is he using a master's count maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's all the uh, mm. Archon money and his tournament winnings. Yeah, that's probably oh, yeah. the case, I'd have to say. Ooh, Emperor. Emperor is so good in this deck, too. I think that's what he was waiting for, just to for his sick flame strike. And it, the warrior doesn't have a huge.